Hi, welcome back to Stories at Work, a series where I've been telling stories and giving you situations in business where you can use them. Now, some of you have been writing in and saying, where do I find my stories? Oh, well, for many sources. One of the great sources are books like this one. I love Chip and Dan Heath. You'll get the details of this book below the video. Now, all business books are actually full of stories. It's just you may not have thought about it earlier. So now go back and read some of your business books and you'll see how all of them have wonderful stories in them. Now, from this book, The Power of Moments, here's a beautiful story I read. This is 2007. There's a guy called Doug Dietz, who's the industrial designer from GE. He's been working for two years to create the MRI machine. Finally, that MRI machine is installed at the hospital, and like a proud papa, he goes to see this machine. He's very happy with what he sees. There's a gleaming white machine in a you know, sanitized room. Everything seems to be perfect. Uh, the hum, he thinks, is a beautiful sound. And then the technician taps him on his shoulders and says, can you step out? We have got some patients coming. He steps in the hallway and he sees the little kid with, uh, with her, par her parents coming. When they come closer, he notices that she's crying. When they come even closer, she, the, she hears the father who steps down to the child's level and says, sweetie, we've talked about it. You need to be brave. They enter the MRI room and he follows in. And as soon as she enters the MRI room, she starts howling. So Doug leans forward, at, goes to her level and says, what's the matter? She says, I'm very scared. And suddenly, Doug sees this room now from the perspective of the little kid. He sees these yellow and black lines on the, on the floor, which is to show where you can move and where you can't, almost like an accident site. On the wall is this huge magnet with an exclamation mark and danger written on it. Yeah. And the hum of that machine now sounds like a monster. And the machine suddenly doesn't look like the beautiful thing he had designed. It just looks like a brick with a hole in it. And the girl is inconsolable. The parents look at each other with that, you know, with that look says, you know, how am I going to get this child through this? At which point the technician says, I think we need to sedate the child. The process goes on. Doug is heartbroken. He steps out and asks someone, how, how many times does this happen? They said, oh, almost always. We need to sedate close to 80% of the children. Completely devastated, he goes back to his lab and he starts thinking about what he needs to do differently. He then starts you know, meeting children, going to play schools, and he realizes the power that they have of imagination. In one school, three chairs are put up with a blanket and he asks the kids, what is that? One person says spacecraft, another says uh, an igloo, another says a boat. Yeah. And that gives him an inspiration. He decides that he needs to redesign that room almost as an adventure. So now they install a new uh, machine at the University of Pittsburgh Medical Hospital. Here, they design this room to be almost like a jungle adventure room, where they have these stickers on the ground of stepping stones. These stickers actually go outside the MRI room. And as kids come, they, they make sure they're stepping only on the stickers because there is water all around and fishes. And they go in and this whole thing looks like a waterfall cave. There's a waterfall in the back. There's the sound of waterfall. The, there's an aromatherapy, which is, you know, you smell of fresh water and lavender. And as they lower the uh, sort of the machine, they have a, it's a canoe instead of being the, the flatbed. And they're told, you know, you have to get in the canoe and you have to stay still. And only if you stay still, some of the fishes might jump. And so the kids stay fully still and they're given these headphones and said, you know, you just need to focus and that cuts off the sound. And this completely transforms the experience. The, the results are outstanding from around 80% of kids that need to be going through sedation, now less than 27% goes through sedation. In fact, in the shorter version, less than 3% goes through, through sedation. Now, some of you may be wondering that, but isn't that a lot of expense? Not at all, it breaks even very quickly because earlier they were to take 10 to 15 minutes to get a kid ready, four minutes in the MRI machine. Now they need to take about four minutes to get the kid ready and four minutes in the MRI machine. The throughput is suddenly increased and the satisfaction levels, 92%. And the big joy comes to Doug one day when he's in one of these rooms 
talking to the one of the parents whose ch child has just got off the MRI machine uh, and he's asking about you know what what they were going through the he sees that the girl comes and tucks the mother's skirt once twice finally the mom pays attention and says looks down and says what is it dear and the girl says can we come back tomorrow and Doug says he starts crying that day and he realizes that he had finally transformed something into an experience because as a designer he was looking about can I get it faster can I get it cheaper etc whereas the patients were looking at experience what a wonderful story where can you use this story oh multiple places one is you can talk about how designers need to have empathy how design needs to have the customer at the center of of everything how you can do whatever you want to do in your ivory chamber but if you really want to do things that will work with the customer, you need to go into field visit, market visits. All are these various business situations where you can use the story. Thanks for listening. Mm -hmm.